Good morning, Kwoods families. This is our first Monday morning meeting since we have entered quarantine. Today is April 6, 2020. And I'm glad you were able to join us. I promise I will keep our presentation to 10 slides or less with 30 seconds or less per slide. After three weeks, it seems that we have entered a new normal and now we all have to do our parts so we can eventually go back to doing things how we used to do them before this virus started spreading. So for now, that means social distancing, even more hand washing than usual, extra diligent surface cleaning, and unfortunately, even doing school online. There's a lot of information out there about COVID-19 already, but there's also, unfortunately, a lot of incorrect information. If you're interested in trustworthy information to understand this virus better, please go to www.cdc.gov and click on Learn More About COVID-19. Speaking about information, I would like to clear something up about posts I keep hearing about being mentioned. The first was published by Bridge Magazine, which indicated all students will just move on. That was immediately criticized by the governor for misinformation. The second was a Facebook post saying that all students must repeat the current school year, which, by the way, was just an April Fool's joke. Neither of these are true. What is true is that Governor Whitmer did pass Executive Order 2020-35, a 17-page document. This order ended in-person classroom instruction and laid out a process for schools to develop a plan to keep students learning and earning credit for the remainder of the school year. Students will not simply pass their classes. They will also not have to start from scratch next year, but they will have to continue learning and demonstrate evidence of that learning. Students, please check your Keywords Connect emails. Your teachers will have sent you information about assignments, due dates, expectations, and so forth. Please remember, these are graded assignments, which will determine if you earn credit in your classes. We are estimating will take you up to three to four hours a day to keep up with your assignments. Okay, no freaking out now. Your teachers know you and understand this is new and that you will have to adjust to this. Talk to them. They will be understanding and will help you be successful. The important thing will be that you communicate. So do so. If after reading your teacher's emails, you still have questions, let them know. If you or another student you know is struggling with technology or internet access, let us know and we'll help figure it out. Promise. Okay, I promise to keep this short, so I will. Please stay tuned for my next video when I will be revealing our students of the month. Believe it or not, I still have to announce those awards for February, so we have some catching up to do. And this is already slide 10, so I bet you goodbye. Do your homework, wash your hands, and remember to have a little bit of fun. Not too much fun, though. Until next time, goodbye.